Welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey 4. Last time we completed a couple of quests in the Scarlet Pillars, and the only one we really have left is in the maze of the place. So, even though I'm apprehensive about this, let me go make sure that I have two Ariadne threads. And do I have plenty of nectars? I'm gonna br make sure I have five nectars and I'm gonna go ahead and err on the side of caution and bring 10 medicas because I actually forgot get most of the gimmick around this labyrinth, so better safe than sorry. Alright, so we're looking for a gathering point so that Wynn can gather some small flowers for nectars. Uh, oh, there's a shortcut right here. Passable from this side. I apologize for how infrequent these uploads have been. This is a hard game to record in batches. <laughs> Th that's really all I can say. It's a hard game to record in batches, so... These guys hit super hard, so let's power break both of them. Uh, you go ahead and attack, attack the other one to maybe inflict binds and crap. Okay. Let's go for a line heal because both Akatsuki and Taylor need health. Nice, got another leg bind. And go for basic healing on Talon. And at this point, just basic attacks all the way. All right. Okay, that's an FOE who has not noticed me. I'm gonna avoid it as long as I can. Oh boy, these guys are also from EO3, I think. Uh, War Bisons, I think you get their horns by defeating them with a blunt attack? I'm just gonna go ahead and regen waltz.
because this is a potentially high damage uh, encounter. So far, nothing, though. Just keep going for the bind. Oh, there's that splash damage. Okay, War Bison have a ton of health, apparently. And I forgot to power break the links. I am going to go ahead and double slash the War Bison with, hmm, yeah, both of you guys. Because I want this thing dead. Because it does splash damage. Splash damage is terrible. Not the studio, they, they make great stuff. Yes, I like Brink. It's not just a uh, dirty bomb that's good. Oh, they actually are weak to fire, so I can go ahead and Blazing Link. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Whew. Metallic horn. Yeah, let's go the other way. The FOE may only have a yellow aura, but... That's still extremely difficult to deal with. And we have a chop point here. Mahogany, jet black pith? What is pith? It, no, that's actually bad. Beautiful black wood, that's useful timber. I'm sorry for even thinking of that one. Oh, okay. Fire bulbs are fun. Basically, I think I need to defeat it with fire. Or it'll explode and do a ton of damage or something. I might be just misremembering it horribly. Go ahead and refresh. Oh yeah, I need to deal with this now. Oh, he got panicked again, okay. Very mature game. Oh good, I sealed its tiny little legs. Oh yeah, that's what they do. Well, Talon gets a level. <laughs> oh no, that was... That's why you bring Ariadne thread, kids. I don't know why children would be watching this. This isn't exactly a series that would interest most children. Shamshir, Hindi, Meteor Hammer, Kazakh. Uh, let's see here. Meteor Hammer costs too much, but that is a huge bump up in attack. And it has two forge slots. However, a large bill bone gets me the heavy mace. Interesting. Uh, can medics use bows by default? No. Alright. 
Let's, uh... Let's get healed. Because holy crap. Like I said, I'm not too concerned with characters getting different amounts of XP. It's inevitable in this game. Okay, Taylor now has a maxed out iron wall. His next level is taken up by expertise, more TP when attacked on the front line. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, no. I need elemental guard soon. Forgotten Song of Yearning. And that's just what a basic enemy can do. Alright, let's get a standard encounter out of the way. Because there's an FOE right there. Um, Petaloid. I don't remember what Petaloids do. He can drop small flowers, though. Yeah, binding its tiny little eggs will totally do anything. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Oh, it dodged. Right, it's a... Mmm. This is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, these games get terrifying. Good critical finish there. Okay. I forget what wakes these FOEs up. It's not being right in front of them. Oh no, I think these guys wake up if you're in a fight near them. Or maybe that's similar ones in Untold. As you walk through the dense forest, you stop momentarily. Is that singing you hear from the south? At first, it seems to be a trick of the wind, but you listen closer and know that you're not hearing things. Could it be another party of explorers that bad? What awaits you there? You reach an open clearing without any trees. A woman is here with her back to you. You cannot see her face. Small firefly-like lights float silently around her. Is it she who sings a song? Oh, it is she that who sings a song that draws you here. The tune she hums, oblivious to your presence, is wordless. You're unsure of what to do now that you have found her, although addressing her is always an option. Yeah. When you call to her from behind, she flinches and spins to face you. The lights floating around her abruptly dissipate. 
Huh? The woman, or perhaps girl, would be more appropriate, stares at you with widened eyes. Her mouth opens and closes, but she seems unable to find the right words to express her shock. In an attempt to break the ice, you address her, but she seem but it seems to frighten her, and she takes a step back. Suddenly, as if reaching her, reacting to her movement, something darts out from the nearby brush. Its unearthly form looks like a shadow in the f shape of a woman. Seeing it, the girl gasps. What's a hollow doing here? I'm back! Stay back! But the shadow ignores the girl and draws ever closer. You unsheathe your weapons to confront the enemy. Oh yeah! Hollows! They suck! Let's see. Uh, Rambler and Exile. They're kind of mage-like enemies, so I'm not sure how much Strike, Guard, and stuff are gonna actually do. But, hey, it, it's worth a try. Blitzritter. Oh yeah, and they dodge a lot. It is very difficult to deal proper damage to them. I'm getting fairly lucky with most of my hits, though. Okay. They do get a ton of experience. After managing to slay the unfamiliar enemy, you turn toward the young girl. She had been struck dumb during battle, but now that it's over, she hastily bows to you. I thank you for saving me. I hope none of you were hurt. You tell the girl you're no worse for wear, and she smiles with relief. I'm glad to hear it. Well done. Not to be rude, but are you humans as well? The girl asks with restrained curiosity. I regret cringing to see you, but... Yggdrasil spoke truly. I was told that if I waited here, humans would come. She seems too excited to realize the import of her own words. She made reference to Yggdrasil speaking. What could this mean? I'm known as the medium in town. What are you called? Your party introduces themselves to the girl at each in turn. The girl's weariness has subsided and her eyes are bright as she questions you. She seems to be opening up. But the conversation comes to a crashing halt as a woman rushes in from the south, staff in hand. You! Get away from the medium! Stay away from the summoner. You recognized a woman. She is one who called herself Wuthan, who saved you in the Miasma Forest. It appears my faith in humanity that led me to save you was a mistake. To think you would come here. You dare address the medium. This is a disgrace. I shall banish you from this place myself. She seems ready and eager to attack. But the girl quickly steps between you and the angry woman. Wuthan, wait! These people! Guild Masidia saved me from the Hollows! Look, they're just like me. They're human too. How splendid. I want to talk to them some more. Can't I? Please? Wufan knits her brow and tries to dissuade the girl, but eventually sighs at her stubbornness. If you must. But please, continue conversa your conversation inside the town walls. There is no precedent for hollows appearing in such a shallow stratum, but we must be vigilant. You assume that the shadowy creatures you fought a moment ago were the hollows. Wufan turns toward you. I trust you overheard. We will await for you in Vessel Town, which stands just down this path. What the medium wants, she gets. I will prepare a reward for you. The path is winding, so don't go astray. Wufan sternly takes the medium's hand and turns her back to you as she begins walking away. Ow! Hey! What's gotten into you? I'm sorry, everyone. Wufan usually isn't like this. I have to go with her. We'll be at Vessel Town, so please be sure to visit. I'll be waiting. With that, Wufan drags the girl away. Is there indeed a town this deep in the labyrinth? If so, it could be a very important discovery. Alright. 
Uh, yeah, I don't need to use any Medica. Ah, this is where the gimmick is introduced. We have a teleporter maze in this game. You sense some presence nearby and stop for a moment. You look about you to see a firefly-like bug floating to the east. The light capers and gambles, leaving trails of light behind it. Eventually, they disappear without a sound. What was it? You decide to continue your search. Let's continue exploring the teleporter maze, though. Monsters have appeared. Rare ones. Okay, they have no weakness, the ones in the front. Let's see, fire bulbs. It explodes when others approach, sometimes hurting its allies. Right, I have to hit it with ice to prevent it from exploding, I think but I don't really have ice damage, so... Let's go ahead and throw up a regen waltz. Take out the trip mushroom. Yeah, just... Maybe I can burst it down? Oh good, I sealed its legs. Uh... Honestly, I should be able to take it out. If I double slash. There isn't a conditional drop for killing it while it's expanded or anything, but uh, later variants of this enemy will. As you proceed down the animal trail covered in morning haze, you're met with a bizarre sight up ahead. There are large, silent shadows in thick fog, shouldering a rainbow-colored halo. The eerie shadows frighten you and sap some of your enthusiasm for further exploration. Right, we have skill points. Um, Akatsuki. More power boost. Hero. Counter Samba for sure. Spiro. Um, I'm only using Blade Flurry for yeah. I'm only doing Blade Flurry for the added status ailments. So I'm just gonna go into auto cloak more. And for Rosa, uh, let's reduce the cost of refresh. Because we're running into status ailments more and more.
You sense some presence near your body and stop for a moment. Looking around, you notice a familiar firefly-like light floating in midair to the north. The light bobs and dances, then disappears without a sound. It looked as if it was showing you which path to take. You decide to resume your search. Well, first, activate this shortcut, because it is a huge shortcut. Fights aren't really worth it right now with how little TP I have on Akatsuki. This is definitely the biggest problem with not having multiple DPS units in the early game. If everyone fails, I might as well throw up a lightning rune. Oop. Uh, the numbers, I'm just putting them in the order I discover them. can't really think of a use for this shortcut, but I'll do it anyway. Like, it saves no time at all. Oh, it doesn't have any conditional drops. Yeah, this floor is, like, full of terrible, terrible monsters. Music stopped. After opening the door, you're met with tall wooden structures. You would never have guessed when viewing this area from above that these were here. They must be well hidden. Could this be the vessel town that the medium spoke of? Humans? What business do you have in our town? The man standing by the gate raises his voice in alarm. You note that his arms and hands are abnormally thin. He must be a vessel himself. With astonishing speed, he reaches for the quiver on his back. Fortunately for all, a small figure rushes in to stop him. It is a girl he met in a forest. Hold! Do not hurt them! She intervenes between the vessel and guard and your party. Did Wifan not mention it? These are the ones who saved me in the forest. They are my guests. I am sorry. Did you run into any difficulties on your way? I am happy to see you. We have a meal prepared. The girl takes her hand and leads you further into town. The Vessel Soldier lowers his readied bow, but he seems unconvinced. You see scarcely anyone else on the open roads. Could they all be in hiding? The ones you do see from time to time are all vessels. There's not one other human in the whole town. The vessels glare at you coldly. Some speak to each other in hushed whispers. When you look uneasily at the medium, her eyes are downcast with shame. Uh, I think... They're only surprised to see you. Come, sit, sit. She smiles at you, but she it does not reach her eyes. The girl retrieves a bowl filled with fruit and seeds and offers it to you to eat. How did you come here? What sorts of things do you do normally? And what kind of food do you prefer? The questions come one after another in a cheerful barrage. But you wonder if the inge ingenue act is deliberate. You interrupt to ask if there are any other humans here. No, I'm the only one, she says. I have no mother or father. Until today, I thought I was unique. I heard that the rest of humanity disappeared long ago, but it seems there are things Wufan doesn't know. Are the others like us? How many humans would you say there were where you came from? You hesitate before answering. You want to give her the truth, but are not sure how she would react. Uh... You tell the medium about Tharsis and the many other cities in the world far beyond it. Etria, Armor Road... She's shocked to hear of an entire world she's never seen. 
Her eyes go soft as she loses herself in reverie. Is it the first time in you can recall her? Oh, it is the first time you can recall her youth showing since showing through since you arrived in this town. That's amazing. You've come so far to get here. I wish I could see the places you've been. Her words are off the cuff and genuine, but a cold voice spoils her delight. Medium, you must not listen to what these humans tell you. The vessel called Wufan approaches. You're not certain how long she had been listening. Humans, I take it that you know nothing of what happened in these lands long ago. Since I doubt you'll return empty-handed, I will tell of the legend, and then you will leave at once. The medium starts to protest, but Wufan pays her no heed and quietly tells the tale. Once, it seems, many humans lived at the foot of Yggdrasil and created other races to take care of it. The vessels were among these. For a time, there was peace, and all lived under the blessings of Yggdrasil. But then one day, a titan as tall as the heavens came and hid Yggdrasil. His blessings were lost, along with many lives. The humans fled in terror of the titan, but the vessels worked together to slay the monster. And thus did Yggdrasil return to the world. The vessels worship it and live in its lands to this day. The medium is human, but she's not like the cowards who fled from the titan, sneers Wuffon. She is the one true human with oracular powers. She alone can hear Yggdrasil's voice. Yggdrasil speaks to the medium to this day to erect wee vessels. She's human, but nothing like you. I thank you for protecting her, but we cannot forgive your ancestors for turning their backs on the titan. Here's your reward. As you're skilled in combat, you may find it useful, but never return here. With that, Wuffon hands you an old book. Spell flame... Spell Flame Wall. Just then, she draws near and whispers in your ear. Why did the medium choose you to open up to? You will not take her from here. She's happier with us. The burning hatred in her eyes is unmistakable. Wufan is with you every step of the way out of town. Why would you treat... Why would you treat them so horribly? I'm human too. They're no different than me. The medium's protest against your shabby treatment can be heard even outside of the town. Your investigation of the Misty Ravine has taken an unexpected turn. Regardless of the an vessel's animosity, you cannot stay silent about what you've seen and heard today. Once you return to Tharsis, the Outland Count must know about this at once. <sighs> you return from exploring the Misty Ravine. Your discovery of the Vessel Town is too important to keep to yourself. What they know of Yggdrasil cannot be taken lightly. You have to report your findings to the Count. As you stand in the square and contemplate your next course of action, an explorer approaches you. It's been a while, hasn't it? But we're both still standing, which is always good. You're not a greeting to Whirlwind. I heard a rumor you found something amazing. What did you see out there? Vessels, the medium, and Yggdrasil, huh? So that's the way they heard the story of Yggdrasil. You're momentarily taken aback to see Whirlwind's usually cheerful face lose its warmth and turn to an icy stare. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get all serious on you there. Here, take this, with my compliments. He pushes a bottle of medicine into your hands. Obtain Medica too. Uh, that reminds me, there's this cave. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It's called the Moth's Garden. I've heard there's lots of rare plant monsters there, so I went to look, and... Now I know why that is. Any weaker plant-eating animals there get gobbled up by the Dino Gator that roams around. That Dino Gator didn't make it easy to get inside the place. But you should go for it, it's pretty interesting. I know you've got things going on, but if you don't get yourself a little stronger, I think you'll regret it. Okay, see you. He gives you an even simpler farewell than usual and leaves the square. Let's, uh, drop off our material and the hammer. Sleep guard. And let's go see the Count. I see, but this is incredible! The Count can barely restrain his excitement at your report. An entire unknown race, dwelling deep within an unknown labyrinth, uh, vessels you called them, and they're led by a young human girl. Most interesting. I'm intrigued by the account of history this woman Wufan gave, but it raises so many questions. I'd like to ask you personally to handle this mission, since you're already involved. What say you? Deliver the letter to the medium. A cordial relationship with the vessels of the Misty Ravine would be the most desirable. See that their medium gets my letter, won't you? The mission I have for you this time is extremely important. I'd like you to deliver this letter to the medium, an important figure in the vessel community. I understand that there's something between our races that we were never aware of. Is our tr relationship truly irreparable, I wonder? That's what I'd like you, for you to feel out for me. 
Searching for Yggdrasil is important too, but this mission may be even more so. Good luck, Miss Idia. Alright. So... Next time on Let's Play Etrian Odyssey 4, I think we're gonna take up uh, Whirlwind's Hint and uh, head off to that other cave. We might be strong enough for it now, after all. See you guys then.